Now let me explain how the APF engineering tool is used for planning a SIMATIC PCS7 project. The project-specific attributes for the APF management modules, materials, storage locations, parameter sets, and archives are entered in the engineering tool's configuration database. The APF engineering tool automatically generates archive tables and function blocks from this data for communication between the automation system and user archives. The appropriate editor screens and faceplates for the function block instances in the automation system are prepared by the system and generated during runtime, in part, dynamically. Let us perform the necessary project planning steps based on an example of material management. We will create a new material class named granulates. To do this, we define the attributes needed for this material class in order to describe the materials the class contains. We define the name, unit, format, description and limit values for each attribute. The APF engineering tool then generates the archive, block and faceplate. We will find the appropriate entries in the configuration tables and the archive for the runtime data in the user archive editor. One block is generated specifically for each material class to read the basic data and the class-specific attributes of a material. The associated faceplate for creating and editing materials consists of a universal upper section and the dynamically generated section containing the material class-specific attributes. The other modules are engineered in the same way. Material lot, parameters, storage locations, and archives. Thank you.